telling you that no. was not a touchdown. He was clearly out of bounds. Yeah, well, then he got back in in time for the instant replay. Yeah, well, well, right. Touchdown. Touchdown. Right there. Right there. Right. Exactly. Willie, Willie, your shirt is not a plate. And you're tracking something. I mean, look, people should not have to wipe their feet upon leaving our house. Oh, my. What? 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 You missed the fight during the game. The blood was the best part. Uh -huh. <laughs> Forget it, Willie. I'm not taking the bait. What do you mean, Ma? We know how much you love the sounds of bones crunching and eyes popping out. Good, good try, guys. Good try. It's wonderful. But I am not arguing this point with you. Had a girl. Don't lose your cool. Oh, and that leg injury, that jagged bone protruding through that torn flesh. So sick, barbaric, disgusting. Hi, I think you lost it. I know I did, but I was this close, huh? Hey, what's the matter, Mrs. Hogan? You don't like sports? Malcolm, I love sports. Guys, I am revolted by this thirst for blood. Hey, Willie, tomorrow let's practice slamming each other into the goalposts. Great idea. <laughs> I really turned them around. <laughs> Right. Yeah. We gotta go. Lamp, huh? Intercept. Hey guys, aren't you forgetting something? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Hi guys. Later, Mark. See you, kid. See you later, Willie. <laughs> See ya. Hyena. Did did you call Malcolm Hyena? You'd have to see me. <laughs> is fast and for that hello we apologize susan roger yeah this is roger <laughs> Notice anything unusual about Santa Carla yet? No. It's a pretty cool place. If you're a Martian. Or a vampire. Are you guys sniffing old newsprint or something? You think you really know what's happening around here, don't you? Well, I'll tell you something. You don't know shit, buddy. Yeah. You think we just work in a comic book store for our folks, huh? Actually, I thought it was a bakery. This is just our cover. We're dedicated to a higher purpose. We're fighters for truth, justice, and the American way. All right. Hey, man. Read this. I told you, I don't like horror comics. Think of it more as a survival manual. There's a number on the back. And pray you never need to call us. I'll pray I never need to call you. Sure. Please be quiet. 
you shut up. Hey. You guys gotta shut up. If you get caught in here, mom's gonna kill me. Get your feet off the seat. You dummy, come on. What a wimp. Here. Colonel, we've got an eyewitness who says the organism pursued some civilians into the sewers. It's got Kevin and Eddie and Meg down there. We gotta do something! When God takes a child, he takes him straight to his heart. Andrew was truly a joy to be around. He's lost. You okay, Mom? I, I wanted to talk to you about my brothers. How you knew about my brothers. They, they died, and I think that somehow you knew about it before it happened. Did you know? Did you, did you have a... Hi. Uh, I'm looking for the super. James? Do you speak English? James? You do speak English? James? Great. Where's the super? Enrique, dejo, dejo de tu mango de vino. Yes. Enrique. Yes. Do you know about the rooster? Rooster? Um, rooster. Um, gallo. Gallo. Rooster. Rooster. Yes. Gallo. Thank you. You're welcome. What I don't get is why I can't seem to get to the, the one number of somebody who can help me with my specific problem. Well, you have to call the all-animal hotline. I did! There's no answer! Is it your rooster? Why would I report my own rooster? Hello? They've got people like you calling all day with exotic animal dilemmas. You have to keep trying. I did keep trying! I'm sorry. I think all the chicken pounds are full. Okay. Uh... Is there another route we can go here? I can give you the number of the city rescue service. Is that a rooster rescue service? A rooster? Yes, a rooster. Please hold a moment. This is the supervisor. What exactly seems to be the problem? <laughs> There's a rooster in the courtyard of my building. How extraordinary. <laughs> yes, it is. The noise is driving me crazy done anything to the rooster, have you? No, I haven't. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> we wouldn't want to exacerbate the problem. Yeah. You got 30 yeah, seconds, you scumbag. Okay, 30 seconds. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Oh, oh, good to see you. I don't know if you have the nail up there. How's everything? It's surreal, man. I know. Surreal. Crazy. Look at you. Use that word. How, How, are, on, you? How are you? What's going on? All right, this Fred is uh, Frederick. This is a nice film to meet you. Our house. Yeah, yeah, very nice to meet Philip, you. Philip, nice meeting you. So, 50 yeah. years. 15. Yeah, 50, yeah that's what I said. Five, we're not, we're not actually yeah, exactly. old enough. I said 15. And you just called me today? Yeah. I can't believe it's like, this is like 15 years ago. It's okay, so have you guys figured it out yet? Yeah, we just, first you're going to tell us where, when was the last time you guys saw each other? Um, have you figured it out? When was the last time? Ah, you guys they haven't figured it out. All right, take your glasses off. That'll help them. Yeah, this is really yeah. frustrating. Yeah, because I... What about the camera? We have a Swedish saying, it's on my tongue. Like, it's almost just bur busting to get out. Yeah. Um, should we just do the... There we go. Oh, that's not a hint, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little more than that. A little more than that. Welcome to the house. Good to see you. Good to see you. Jameson Newlander played the other Frog Brother. It was really like the dynamic trio. Uh, sure. Hey, hey, it's good. All right, guys. All right, we'll see you inside. Hello. Hello. No way. <laughs> 20 years later. 
crazy, man. Sorry, Corey, this is our uh, momentous Yeah, this is it right here, dude. This is it. The three of us back together. Is that is Lost Boys. Here we go. It 20 years later happened. and okay. since. Like All right, it. let's go get this thing. Are you, I thought you, you come, right? yeah, come watch. I'll take a look for Damn, it's in love you. I'll see you soon. Love you, too. <laughs> <laughs>
just... We can't do it without you. What about Sam? Sam's gone. He turned, and uh, I had to do what I had to do. I guess that cancels out Michael and Star. Yeah, I'm pretty much persona non grata with the entire Emerson family at this point. Laddie? He's moved on. He's got a wife. Kids. He's got a real life now. Yeah, well, so do I. You call this a life? This from a guy who lives in a trailer. Okay, so I've got nothing. But at least I know what side I'm on! Alan, if this is the head vampire, then maybe we can kill him. If we kill him, and then we just gotta find the one that's above him, and then on and on like that forever. They are telling me that this is the, the alpha. The OG of all bloodsuckers. The head vampire. It's a pyramid scheme, Edgar. Always has been. What if this really is the head vampire? Get this, and get it good, Edgar. As far as I'm concerned, there's no such thing as vampires. We all need an escape. We all need a place to go where we can live in a fantasy world where we don't have to be grounded by the realities of our particular lives. Delving into a world that's created for us with new faces, new characters, new places to embark, new journeys, new adventures. That's the magic here at Comic Con. All right, here's a little bit of advice. Uh, like, so if, if your doctor wants you to get lab tests, shop around. You know, it's your right to do that. Um, little, there's a true story. It's happened to a friend of mine. So he goes into the doctor, and the doctor wants him to get some lab tests: um, cholesterol, triglycerides, and this thing called C-reactive. It's, it's like a test for internal inflammation. I swear, this, this is my friend. It's, it's not me. You got to be prepared to make smart choices fast. Choices that make the best use of your time and money and don't sacrifice quality. So here's what you need to know. If it's an emergency, like if you know someone's having trouble breathing or if you know you feel that their life could be threatened, then call 911 or go straight to the ER. But if it's not an emergency and if it's say a sprain or an earache or a scrape or a cut that might need a few stitches, an urgent care center may actually be a better and cheaper way to go. Why was my husband, the mayor, not informed of this situation immediately? Uh, well, the sheriff, he told me to, to go get him, but I'm old and I forgot. Do you expect me to believe that? I'm hoping. Was it Indians? Troglodytes. This empty area is a mountain range. Forbidden territory has been for centuries. Somewhere in the northwestern part of it is a place my people call the Valley of the Starving Men. Troglodytes are said to live there. That's, uh, that's, that's days from here. How many of them do you think there are? It won't matter. You have no chance against any number of them. I'm running out with Mr. O'Dwyer because there isn't a choice for either of us. The rest of you can stay. You'll be killed. I'm, I'm coming with you. No, no, I need you here. You need to keep an eye on No, this. I'm coming. I, I'm coming. Nick's gone, and this is what a backup's for, to help an emergency, not stay back. I'm coming. All right, I'm in. This is suicide. I'll get packed and meet you in front of the jail in 15 minutes. As will I. I'm the one who fetched your wife and got her involved. Got a responsibility to you both. And I've killed more Indians than everyone here put together. Well, it's an ugly boast. It isn't a boast, but a fact. Telegraph Gatesville. Let them know what happened here. Have them send a couple of deputies to watch over things while I'm gone. You should address the mayor directly. Yes, you should. Somebody should bury Buford. He's got no kin in Bright Hope. I'll have him blessed to put underground. Appreciate it. Does uh, anybody know how to spell troglodytes? For the telegram. Test. 
I hope you all enjoyed the appetizer. And uh, what shall you have, madame? It's actually what I can't have. I'm a vegetarian, but I also have a gluten, lacto, and soy intolerance. And I know this is gonna sound weird, but I'm allergic to avocados and whitefish and eggplants. And here's the most important thing. If I eat nuts, my life is pretty much over. May I suggest the pea soup? Perfect. <laughs> I just love the monkey soup. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna... Uh... Ah! Ah! Yeah. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? I'm a doctor. And I'm checking out a patient. From the kitchen? It's complicated. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Oh. Here is the doctor! Oh, ah. I heard there was a medical emergency. Well, my neck is still sore from the collision. How are we doing tonight? Uh, good, sir. How are you doing? Can I get your license and registration, please? Yeah, yes, sir. yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Let me get that for you. Where are you heading so late? I was just uh, heading home, you know. Just, uh... You been drinking at all? Yes, sir. Let's have that registration. Oh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, glove compartment again, please. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can you please open up your glove compartment again, please? I, I already uh, gave you my registration. Okay, let's go. Out of the car. Let's go. Is it because you ran the damn stop sign? I mean, hands on your head. Jeez.